Welcome to a video learning object on mass relationships and chemical reactions. We're going to be dealing here with chemical stoichiometry problems of the type where you're given a uh, balanced chemical equation and a quantity of one or more reactants or products and then asked to compute the quantity of another reactant or product that would either be produced or required in order to uh, uh, complete the reaction. Let's take a look at a specific example here. Let's say we're told that we have the equation for the production of ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen gas and asked to compute the mass in grams of ammonia that would be formed if 64 grams of nitrogen gas were reacted with more than enough hydrogen. In other words, uh, we're assuming here that nitrogen N2 is the limiting reactant in this problem. Um, any problem like this starts with the balanced equation. Of course, you first have to be sure that it is, in fact, balanced, as this one is. Now we have to think about what this equation tells us. It doesn't tell us anything directly about what weight of ammonia will be produced from a certain weight of nitrogen. What it tells us specifically is how many molecules of ammonia will be produced, two, from one molecule of nitrogen and an excess of hydrogen gas. But molecules are pretty small. That's an inconvenient quantity to work with. So instead, we'll work with the much more convenient gram molecular weight, or mole quantities, which also are uh, dealt with by this chemical equation. That is, this chemical equation also tells us that three moles of hydrogen gas will react with one mole of nitrogen gas to produce two moles of ammonia. Since the gram molecular weight is the weight in grams of a material equal, numerically equal to its uh, atomic or molecular weight, the uh, prefixes in front of the, or the numbers in front of the reactants and products refer not just to individual molecules, but also to molar quantities or moles. So, how does that help us solve this problem? Well, the first thing we have to do, since the chemical equation only tells us about relative quantities of reactants and products in moles, we have to convert the quantity of reactant or product that we're given in the problem to moles. And of course what we have is in grams. So how do we convert 64 grams of nitrogen to moles of nitrogen? Well, that's pretty simple, as you well know. We'll just take the uh, 64 grams. 64.0 grams, I should say. Maintain our significant digits here. And we have to know, of course, what the weight of one mole of nitrogen is. Nitrogen existing in nature is diatomic molecule, so that's two nitrogen atoms. Each nitrogen atom has a uh, an atomic weight of approximately 14, 14.0 to three significant digits. So a molecule of nitrogen has a uh, gram molecular weight of 2 times 14, or 28 grams per mole, as we say, for purposes of dimensional analysis and solving the problem, because if we now divide that out, and uh, take 64.0 divided by 28, end up with 2.29 moles to three significant digits of N2. Do our units here work out in dimensional analysis? Well, if we divide grams by grams, they cancel. 
anything divided by itself is 1. We get 1 over 1 over moles, which is moles. So indeed, we must have done the calculation properly. So 64 grams of nitrogen is 2.29 moles of nitrogen. Now we have a quantity that the chemical reaction, the chemical equation, can tell us something about. Uh, the chemical equation tells us that one mole of nitrogen will produce two moles of ammonia. So we just take our quantity of nitrogen in moles, and multiply that by a stoichiometric factor which gives us the, relation, the molar relationship between nitrogen and ammonia in this equation, which of course is just uh, the fact that two moles of ammonia are produced for every mole, one mole, of nitrogen that reacts. So that's basically just 2 times 2.29 I should be able to do that in my head, but it's amazing how that ability goes away over time. 2.29 times 2 is 4.58. Moles of ammonia. Do our units work out? Well, moles of nitrogen over moles of nitrogen cancels, and we're left with moles of ammonia. Cool. All right, so I know how many moles of ammonia are produced in this uh, situation, but I'm asked how many grams that is. Well, that's easily enough dealt with. If I just take my moles of nitrogen that I've just calculated, 4.58 moles of ammonia, and multiply that by the molecular weight of ammonia, which is 14 for nitrogen and 1 for each of the hydrogens. 14 plus 3 is 17 grams per mole. So 1 mole of ammonia weighs 17 grams. And pull up our trusty calculator again. 4. 58 times 17 is 77.9 77.9 grams of ammonia. Once again in our dimensional analysis, uh, moles cancel moles over moles cancel and we're left with grams and there's our answer all problems like this can be solved using the same basic road map we just convert the quantity of reactant or product that we're given to moles then calculate the desired quantity in moles and then convert it convert that answer to desired units. And we're done. One, two, three, all chemical equation stoichiometry problems of this nature can be solved in exactly the same way. And that's all there is to it. Good luck with your assignments.